Are you ready? Yes. Well, I don't look as, as small on this one. Yeah, it's a good job, babe. Thank you. You look okay. so big. Big and muscly. Ooh, yummy. <sighs> Just your average Ben. And not your average Brie. And guys, happy one year to Ben and I and you guys because our channel just hit one year. Yeah. We posted <coughs> Corona. <laughs> we posted our first video exactly one year ago on April 10th. Do we know what time? And we posted it on? Was it midnight? I feel like it was like probably either a midnight or a 12 p.m. I think it was 12 p.m. You think so? Yeah, guys. So it's one year on YouTube for us, and we just wanted to talk a little bit, just a little bit. This is not going to be a long video whatsoever, but we just wanted to talk a little bit about our experience with YouTube, and um, that's it. Okay, okay, so... <laughs> so what was one of the struggles that you think we both faced as a couple on YouTube? We'll start with the struggles. The struggles. Hmm. Timing. 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 Yes. Just because just of the industry we work on, it's not a regular 9 to 5. It's literally like we get our schedule the day before and we don't know how many hours we're going to be working on set. So, Like guys, I literally had a call time at 7.18 a.m. this morning and I finished at 9.30 p.m. Not a.m. P.m. Yes. So that was definitely a struggle, I'd say, for sure. There's times, like, yeah, there's times we could be on set all day, and then we come home and we kind of don't feel energized and, like, motivated to make a video, and it could be hard sometimes, especially because this video's Ben and Bree, so we need both of us in the video, and there's times that... She, it's just that, me, that or it's just works. Ben. Yeah, it's usually one of us is free, the other one is working, and it's it's hard to get a good timing to be able to film. I'd say another struggle was coming up with content that you guys would look forward to seeing. Because this year was such an experimental year, we were like, okay, what would we like to watch on YouTube? Okay, but what would our audience like to see on YouTube? What are we good at? What are we not good at? What should we post? What should we not post? It was definitely like a, we needed to balance what we post and what we don't and what like we will expose and what we won't expose. Everything needs a balance. And that was, that was definitely one of our struggles figuring out this year. I still feel like we're figuring out yeah. to this day. And we're going on year two, guys. Like, we're going into our second year on YouTube. And the more that we are on YouTube and the more that we hang out with you guys and post for you guys, the more we're going to know our style and what Ben and Brie are really about. Do you have any other struggles that you think that we faced on YouTube? Oh, this kind of has to go with what Ben said when it comes to timing. But guys, the editing took hours, hours, so much so that we brought on an editor to Ben and Brie. Shout out to Kirsten. Yeah, we brought on an editor and we'll probably bring on more editors as the years go by because it is just so stressful. First of all, having the time to film what we are going to be posting that week because sometimes Ben and I won't have a moment to film until like two days before Friday. And we post every Friday unless, you know, there's an emergency or like we just absolutely cannot. But our schedule has always been like we post on a Friday or like early on a Saturday. But when we only have time to film, let's say on like a Wednesday night or a Thursday, editing is hard. And fitting that into our schedule, especially if like I have work on Thursday or Ben has work on Thursday, what do we do? But as the years go on, we will have more time for YouTube, especially because Ben and I will be living together very soon. So it won't be like, hey, when can you hang out? When can we get together? Blah, 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 blah. We'll be coming home to each other every night. Yeah. I feel like another one would be there was times like we wouldn't agree we would disagree a lot on what we wanted to film not a lot we wouldn't not, disagree not, yeah, a lot not a lot there was a couple times every now and then like that, that axe room <laughs> yes that, there were little things guys there's just been a couple times where we like one of us comes up with an idea and the other one says no little disagreements here and there nothing major but i feel that's just Part that of, was a little bit of a struggle. It's still part of the, 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 YouTube, process. the YouTube process. The process. Yeah. All right, let's talk about some, some positives. What did we love about having a YouTube channel this year? Honestly, just making videos with, with each other. We've been uh, 
doing many cool Lua adventures, filming. Yes, traveling. Yeah, filming our little getaways. Later on down down the road, we'll be able to go back and watch these videos again. And I still watch them. Like, it's only been a year, but I go back <laughs> and I binge watch all of our YouTube videos because it just brings me back to those days. It wasn't that long ago, but I still get emotional just like watching it because growing our YouTube t together has been such like, a, it's been a bonding experience. Like every time we film, we're bonding with each other. So that's been just a lot yeah. of fun. It's just gonna be nice in a couple of years to look back and be like, oh, remember we did that? And then even even in many years, like we're gonna come back to these videos and be like, damn, we, we, really, we really weren't that good <laughs> like to how we are now. So we started this YouTube channel at the very like beginning of the 2020 pandemic and there were a lot of emotions going on during this time and I definitely, when I binge watch our YouTube channel, I can remember each and every video like what I was feeling that day or like what Ben and I had talked about that day, so on and so forth. So it's kind of cool like again looking back at those videos, remembering where we started and what we were going through at that time but we still made time to post and do the things that we loved and like get better being in front of the camera because I don't know if you guys remember but we we were awkward that first video yeah. we recorded like an hour of footage and, and i had to cut so many times because we just did not make sense we could not put our words together we could not speak on camera we were so awkward it had been so long for me to be on camera she was good no no i was not <laughs> if i were to post that whole video unedited do it I'm just kidding, don't do that. But that's what happens with every channel, or just anything in general. The more that you work on it, the better that you get, the more comfortable that you get doing it. That's been a really cool experience, being on YouTube this year and being consistent. Like every Friday we have posted, or like we've even posted a couple times during the week. There was a moment where during the holidays that we were posting a couple times a week before the new year, where we yeah. just had more time to film. So I know that when we live together, we're gonna have a lot more time to post content that you guys actually will look forward to rather than things that kind of come off the top of our head or something that we're doing last minute to put on video for you guys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I feel like another good positive would be uh, the videos we we have made with friends because yeah. there hasn't been that many, but the videos they've been in, it, they've, they've been pretty cool and just having them part of this little cool communities, the little challenges we've had them do, the jelly beans, the, the yes. noodles. Yes, and also like what Ben has said, when it comes to like our friends, it has brought a lot of us closer together, especially like LJ and Baylin and yeah. like a lot of my sister's friends. People have sported our stickers on their cars. By the way, guys, if you see our name on a car, our stickers on a car, it does not always mean it is us <laughs> driving. So if one of us cuts you off i am sorry i speak we speak for them we apologize for their cut off or them driving too slow and whatever but it is not always us if, driving around with our stickers. if they cut you off it was probably me or phineas <laughs> but yeah that has absolutely been a fun experience getting my shirts getting my stickers getting my business cards just investing in our channel as a whole we have so, always looked forward to that it was also cool like uh having people message us on Instagram with a picture, like they see us driving on the road or something. We've had a couple, yeah. couple of times where uh, we'd have someone message us that they just saw our car and it's not us, but they think it's us in the car. Like guys, one time we were on our way to Las Vegas and this cute couple like saw our sticker and they kept like driving up to see who was inside and they saw that it was us and we messaged each other the whole way to Vegas. No, it was, <laughs> it's cause of, uh, who made the paper I made it or you made it? You, she, I told her to grab a piece of paper and put our at and write it on down. Instagram. And then we put it on the window so they could. Yeah, so they followed us through YouTube first. And then we put the, I put the uh, paper up that Ben told me to write up to the window. They caught, they got us on Instagram and then we messaged the whole way to Las Vegas. And then That's they funny. suggested Good Eats that we ended up going to when we went to Las Vegas. Happy one year. Happy, I won happy on YouTube. YouTube one year. Happy YouTube one year, guys. Give me a kiss, babe. I just burped. <laughs> Ew. I can't smell. My smell's still not fully back from freaking Same. the vid. I swear, oh my goodness gracious. Like I try smelling myself sometimes and I'm just like, well, I can't smell it. It don't bother me. Honestly, I'm not self self conscious about it because I can't smell it. So I'm like, 
I can't smell a massive dookie either, so they just don't smell. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm pretty sure at this point, this video has gone a little too far and a little too much info okay. <laughs> for you. So we are going to end this here, but we just want to say thank you guys so much. We love you and we are so grateful for the support that you have given us over the past year. It is only up <clears throat> from here. <laughs> And we are thrilled that you guys are on this journey with us on our way to, I don't know, the top? I don't think there's I ever like a top top. I don't even know what that means. But happy one year on YouTube, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye. Ew.